What about you guys? Welcome back to another installment of the Koi Journal with me, Dave, D. Koi, and we're going to give you a quick rundown of what's coming up in this episode. So this week, we we'll swap out the dechlorinator cartridges in the three-stage filter, which to be honest really had to be done when you look at them. We also look at getting the clarity back in the main pond after having to treat twice and having the UV off for two weeks to sort out the fluke. Really we just flicked the UV on and two days later the uh, the clarity was almost back but we threw some Koi Masters Advantage in there just to really kick things along. We also take a dive into the Koi Fry Tank and have a look at what's going on with those guys and see how they're really coming on. We jump into the garage, see what Koi have got in there. I'm going to move a couple on to the new house and hopefully, hopefully prep things up for the fry to be moved over. So stay tuned guys, carry on watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button please hit it already really appreciate that appreciate a thumbs up it helps me grow the channel helps me grow the videos if you haven't looked me up you can look me up on instagram i'll pop my name up just somewhere up around here and uh, you can look me up on there the instagram has a lot of content long before i started doing these videos even photographs of my old pond that i had inside the house at our old house so anyway stay tuned guys enjoy the episode hit the like hit the thumbs up hit the hit the subscription and and let's do this So what have I got here? New cartridges for the dechlorinator. Don't think I have done this in 12 months. Pond was built 12 months ago. I got a, a picture from my wife which was a time hop photo from her Facebook. I don't know whatever that is. It showed the pond pretty much finished a year ago. And I know I haven't replaced them. So, time to get on and do them. So yeah, I'm thinking it definitely needed done. With this one being clear in the sun, it's got even got algae growing on it. So yeah. I'll go and get all the new ones in. Run it through for, for an hour or so. Clear out any carbon and uh, That'll sort that before I do my filters. There we go guys, all installed. Been running for for an hour there down the drain. Done my filters and it's topping the water back up. These guys are looking loads better after their their fluke. Which is good. Everyone loving their food. I took a little trip over to Chris's at Koi Masters the other day, obviously to pick up some prizes for the one uh, the 1000 subscriber giveaway don't forget that's going to be next week that'll be drawn um hope you've all entered and uh i did a did a little bit of underwater footage there of one of his seals ponds so i'll uh i'll pop that up now
All right, guys. Not really done any filming out here since I uh, got rid of the fry. But I do have still got some koi in here that need to be need to be moved on. Uh, turn that bottom drain off. Just come out to do the filters. So. There's a couple of little guys in there. Nice sangi. What I may do is do a little underwater footage, see if I can see them. If you notice with the air and the shower off, all the fish are congregating in the corner, scared. So I'll get that back off. So I think I've got one more treatment on my Koi Master's Advantage after this, one more dose. Not good, considering I have a uh, bucket that I'm giving away. I might have to break into it. Turn the UV back on and the water's almost crystal clear again anyway. Fish are looking absolutely amazing. Loads happier. feed So that's the advantage in. Done. It's Saturday today, so we'll take a look at this again in, in a couple of days. And hopefully, even with the advantage in, there's still a bit of a green tinge to the water. So hopefully, in a couple of days, that'll be all sorted. Back to 100%. So, this is the pond the day after that the Koi Master's advantage is cleared. Uh, put it in yesterday, Sunday today, just got back from shooting and you can see right down to the bottom of the pond. So yeah, it's safe to say the clarity is 100% back. There's a bit of pollen on top of the pond, which uh, we're not really too fussed about. It's a bit windy down here, so that's what we're up against. What I did notice when I was doing a bit of work on the pond recently is this algae, man. Look at that. Every so often a bit will break off. A bit will break off and drop into the pond and end up in the filter. But there's some serious growth going on on that filter. Usually I'd have cleaned it all off, but I'm just gonna let it go. It's good for the pond. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're at guys. Clarity is back. All right guys, that's it for this week's midweek episode. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for hitting the subscribe button to those of you that did. Those of you that haven't, jump on down there and smash it. Really appreciate it. Really help me grow the channel. Don't forget to like it as well. Pop along Saturday morning, 10 a.m. for a follow-up on the weekend video where we'll do things like fish of the week and, and discuss various items like that. Also, don't forget to check out uh, last weekend's video where we have a competition going. The dog's name must be in the comments. You must like, you must subscribe, and you could win some class prizes. So cheers for watching again guys and I'll catch you in the next one. But before I go, I must say, 
check out that. Sharon's been in the craft room again. Well impressed with my new hoodie. Anyway folks, look after yourselves. Stay safe. Catch you next time.